hello guys you're welcome my name is cj manuel in this video i'm going to show you guys how to verify your bitmart crypto wallet account we are talking about both the level one and level two verification okay so uh this is very simple just make sure you watch this way to the end and once you log into your bitmart account in my previous video i showed you guys how to create account okay you can go to the description box and check for the link to do that and i created the account using website so once you've created the account all you have to do is to log in now you can go to your app and do your verification directly from your app but um we are going to do these two ways here we are going to use the website and then I'm going to show you how to download the app and then use the app for level two we are going to use the website for level one but like i said you can just go to the app and do both of the verification okay so let's proceed the process is just the same okay so now once you log into your account you click the menu and once you click the menu you have your drop down here so you click verification and once you click verification uh it takes you to this stage so you have level one starter personal information and then you click verify now okay and these are the benefits for level one verification so with this ver level one ver verification which is even very very simple you can still make a daily withdrawal of 0.06 BTC, which is about $2,000, if I'm not mistaken, about $2,000. So this is still, it's huge. It's very big. Even with the level one verification, it's big enough to start doing whatever you want to do in case you don't have the ID card to do the level two. Even with the level one, you can start doing whatever you want to do on the platform, okay? And these are the benefits for doing the level one verification. So let's get started. You click verify now button. Once you do that, it brings you to a page like this. Here you select your country. You put your first name exactly as it is in your ID card. You put your last name. Okay. For those of you that have two to three names, just arrange it the way it is in your ID card here. Two names can go into any of the boxes. Okay. Then you put the type here to put your date of birth. So I will show you the process of doing that because some of you may get confused. Once you click this date of birth box, you are going to see this uh, calendar will pop up. Okay. Now what you do now is if this is your date of birth, you can go ahead to scroll left or right to choose the month. Okay. If this is a year. But if this is not the year, you can decide to you want to get to the year just click click this year here you are going to have something like this okay and then you have different year listed here so choose any of the year if you can still find the year here all you have to do is to click this box okay click the box to go left or click the box to go right depending on the year you are born if it is backward or forward so once you do that, it's definitely going to bring you to one to where you are supposed to be. So once you get to where you are supposed to be, let's say for example, we are here now and the year is 1982. So you just click the 1982. And then under 1982, you, you now have to choose the month. So you can just choose the month. If it is June, you click June. So you have 1982 June. And then you have to choose the day. If it is 16, you just click 16 and you have it. Okay. A date of birth properly written. Now, you can then click the confirm button. Once you click the confirm button, you have this level one completed. So, you see how simple it is? Nothing much to do here. You are done. You are absolutely done. Now, you can click here. To close this box okay here we go and then once you are here you can now scroll up to see the status of our 
verification scroll up and here we have it level one starter personal information verified so le uh, level one verification is done now for the level two verification let's use the app okay let's use the app what we use here is a website so now let's use the app now you have the app at the top here this is the app so just click the download button there and boom it's going to okay when we scroll down before doing that let's if we scroll down you see that we have level two which is advanced requires id card facial recognition and like I said, we will not do it here. Otherwise, we would have clicked this and continue. So let's download the app like I wanted to show you before. Once you download the app, you see this notification here. You click continue so that you can continue to your Google Play Store. So now this is our Google Play Store and this is the original app. Going through the site, you are now very sure that this is the correct app, not uh, a scamming one. Then click install. Once you click install, it's going to process and boom it will finally install then you click the open button but if for any reason you've closed this already just go to your app to your desktop here you have your apps on your phone and you get it so click open once you click open we are here now you click allow if you get this notification just allow and boom we are here now we are not signing up okay we've already signed up so what we want to do now is to log in because we've already signed up so you click log in so once you click log in you are here now you have the phone number you want to log in with phone number or email address now in creating our account i use email ag uh, address and i recommend you use email address because it will be more sustainable you can lose your phone number at any time so we are using email address so we have to click the email address uh, the email so now the email is highlighted so now you put your email, the email address is you creating the account, and then you put your password. After that, you click your sign in button, and then you have this verification here. This is a box, and you're expected to move this object into the box. So you can do that by holding the object and move your hand right, or you hold here and then move right until the object gets into this box. And you're going to have something like this. Now the object is now inside the box. You can now release your hand and then it's going to process and you have success okay you have successfully signed in now they say uh, email verification code sent so a verification code has been sent to the email address is in creating your account so go to the email and get the code and this is the code you have to copy it or you type it out here into this uh, sections okay and once you type the last one and it's correct is going to process and boom you have successfully authorized this device okay so you can now click the confirm button okay once you click the confirm button it's going to bring you into your account and on this account here this is a pop-up you want to close it look carefully you are going to see the x mark there so just click that X button and that advert will go off. So congratulations, you have successfully created your account. Okay, so now let's go for the verification of the tier 2 verification. Now come to go to your, to your profile. There is a button at the top there. That human icon, click it. It's going to bring you to this section. And here you click the... Uh, identity verification or you click verify now once you do that it's going to bring you to a section like this this is the level one and this is the level two and remember we've already done level one and the level one is highlighted here why is this still showing verify don't worry uh, uh, what you have to do you can click this level two and then come back click level one then you see the correct status for level one so let's click level two we'll click level two it's showing verify now let's click level one to see the real status of level one because we've done that verification so verified so level one is verified right now i want to do level two verification so click level two now we are here now and these are the benefits for after we complete level two verification so now click verify now once you click verify now 
it brings us to these details you click verify now button at the bottom and then here we go you click you click uh, while using this app any of it now um because of security reasons a lot of the other screenshots we are blocked but let me explain to you once you are on this page you can now follow instruction to complete your verification now there are different kinds of id that will be required you have driver's license you have uh, id card and you have government issued id so if you are using driver's license from what i noticed uh, when you use when you use driver's license uh after scanning the front page the back page they will require you to scan a code and i think that may be for us citizens because right here if you are in some african countries especially in nigeria here there is nothing like barcode or scanning in our id card it doesn't work so using the driver's license may give you issue if you are in africa or you're in nigeria because of that code that is required to, to scan at the back so for that reason, if you are in Nigeria and you don't have such codes of scanning in uh, Nigeria here, you can use the um, government issued ID. Okay, so you can use you can tick the government issued ID option, and if it is a uh, driver's license you want to use, you can still use the driver's license as government issued ID because of course it is government issued ID. You get the point. I hope you are clear even if you didn't choose the driver's license option you choose the government issued id you can still submit your driver's license because it is government id that is what i did and the account was confirmed okay and um, some of you may have issue in scanning your id card i noticed that let's say this is your id card okay when scanning when scanning the frame of your camera should not be too big apart on the id card you should bring it very close to the id card so that the edge of the id card will be close to the edge of the frame the close to the edge of the close to the edge of the frame close to the edge of the frame that is when your camera is going to capture the card i'm talking based on my experience so don't be too far zoom it bring it close so that we capture very tightly and then that is when it's going to capture i hope that is very clear both the back and front that is how it works and then after passing that section of submitting your id card the facial uh, verification will come up you hold the phone make sure that you, there will be a circle make sure that your face enters that circle and then it's going to capture and in few minutes your account will be verified so thank you very much um, if this was very useful do well to subscribe to my channel do well to like this video like 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 this video is very important and uh, drop nice comment in the comment section and share this video and please all the information you need if you want to create an account the links or very important links are in the description box of this video if you don't know how to get to the description box of this video just Tap the title of this video. Just click the title of this video. The description section will pop up. Okay. Then there you have link to very important uh, platforms. The latest way we make money online. You are going to get a link there. You are also going to get the link to contact me and the link to our group. Every important link you need will be in the description box of this video. Once again, to go to the description box, type... Uh, Click the title of this video and it's going to the description box will be displayed and you see all the links. And please don't forget to like, share. I wish you guys the best. Thank you.